Welcome to the Mifuro channel! This video is a short introduction to the new card DVR that Xiaomi has recently released. You're looking at the 118th product of the company, released under the sub-brand Nijia. The item was kindly provided for this review by Gearbest.com. Prior to doing any unboxing, I'd like to point your attention to something very important. I've been trying to start using this camera for a few days now without success. After contacting the Mijia support team, I was asked to wait for a few weeks until an English version of the app is released. Apparently, you cannot begin using the camera without a setup via the app, and you cannot use the app without a registration, and you cannot make a registration without having a Chinese telephone number. The only solution right now is to wait for a while or to get a Chinese telephone number and some Chinese knowledge. There are signs of overcoming these limitations soon. The good from the experience so far is the reaction of the support team. That is admirable. I got good answers written at decent English within less than three hours of submitting my queries. If Xiaomi's team manages to keep up with that level of support, I can imagine there would be tons of happy customers. Now, let's move on to the unboxing. As mentioned, this device is targeted for China mainland and therefore you won't find much in English on the box except some technical values. User guide is also useless if you don't understand Chinese. There's a generously long USB cable included, a car USB charger and of course the cam. I like the way it is built. Has a plastic body which doesn't feel great, but after the first time you attach it on your car's windshield, there's no way to touch it anyways. You can see the reset button, the micro SD slot and the USB cable. Speech is in Chinese and I hope there would be a way to disable it. Although voice commands are supported, you won't be able to use them too. I'm not quite sure whether Xiaomi will reconsider adding English voice commands to the feature set. You may find some good hardware inside and that includes a Sony IMX sensor. Video recording goes up to 1080p with 30 frames per second. Last but not least, have a look at the control button. There are a few modes that it supports. Because of the lack of English documentation, I can only confirm one of the combinations. Triple press will trigger a format command. Because of the reasons I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am unable to share any footage, but remain with hope to bring some soon along with good news about the English app. Therefore, buy this camcorder with caution. Could be that everything is ready and sort it out until the camcorder goes to your doorstep. As usual, I will greatly appreciate if you can like and share this video. And via the description below, I'll keep you up to date with any software developments that are happening. Now, wishing you a lot of fun among the sea of videos in YouTube. And thanks for stopping by here at the Me For All place.